put some of these power twisters. Great tool, but I found two things with them. One, they're a bit short, so that you know if you do anything like that, your hands are pulled right in. And the other thing I found is that there's a big jump between the two. So what I found is I've got some push fit, inch and a half waste pipe, which goes over these just nice. You might have found that if they're a bit loose, you can put some tape around them. If they're a bit tight, you just take a little bit off with the rasp. And then I've made these longer, so you can still wrap them around your hands when you're using them, around your wrists when you're using them. So we're right here. Here we are. This is the 50. And what I've found is you can start off nice and wide, and then you can gradually move in. And when you get right in, when you get right in, you can then go up to the next one. And another thing I found, if it pinches the back of your neck, just get a sock, cut the other end out, slide it over. It stops it catching on the back of your neck sometimes. The same thing, start back out at the outside and gradually work in again. That's the 60. Now we've got the 80. As I say, same thing. When you get right in with the 60, Outside with the 80. There we are. Until you get into the centre, we'll take we'll take these off for that. And when eventually you work up to the 80. There we are. That saves the big jump between the two. You can just go up more progressively. As you can see, I've put some insulation tape around there at different stages and just move up one at a time. So you gradually move into the centre, then up to your next one.